Hey everybody, so today's Monday, that means it's time for Family Movie Night. And it's Memorial Day, but it's Christmas on my channel. So exciting. It's the end of Muppet May. We've had such a great month. It's our fourth year doing Muppet May. And so today we are going to, to celebrate Christmas in May. A Muppet Family Christmas is what we're talking about today. And this is a television special that aired in 1987. And it is really unique in a lot of different ways and really special in a lot of different ways. It's, I think, 53 minutes. So it's one of those hour long sort of specials on television. And the thing that I think that makes this the most noteworthy is that it is the only property that includes everything Muppets. I mean, everything. You've got your core Muppet performers, of course, your Fozzie, your, your Kermit, your uh, Miss Piggy, all that. Then you also have the Sesame Street characters, which are usually kept completely separate. So you've got Big Bird, you've got Ernie and Bert, you have uh, the Count, all of your favorite uh, Cookie Monster, all of your favorite characters are all there. And then you have Fraggle Rock is in this, which is, is really fun. And you have the Muppet Babies in here. So all of the franchises that have anything Muppets are included in this special, which is really fun. And it's basically kind of just an excuse to sing a bunch of Christmas carols. The plot, the basic threadbare of the plot is that, uh, that Fozzie is taking his friends to his farmhouse, to his, where he grew up with his mother, and uh, they're going to surprise his mother. Well, when they get there, it turns out she's just about to go on vacation, but she makes room for, uh, for all of the Muppets. And they just keep coming and coming and coming and coming and more and more and more. And they even talk about how people are having to sleep hanging from hangers <laughs> and things like that. There's some really funny ongoing gags that you have in the movie, like the fighting between the turkey Muppet and Camilla Gonzo's girlfriend, and who's a chicken, and that whole thing. The Swedish chef is hilarious in this as he's trying to prepare Christmas dinner. I thought that was really funny, and his interactions with the turkey versus Camilla the, the chicken, very funny. I thought that was great. Right. No, 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 gobbler, uh, gobbler. Uh, okay, all right, I admit it, I admit it. The jig is up. Here I am, the Christmas turkey. It's so nice to see all of these characters that we all love together. I mean, that's just sort of the novelty of it. And you get to hear oh, so many great songs. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. May the calendar keep ringing. Happy holidays to you. They don't just stick to your typical Christmas carols with Santa and that, that's kind of thing. They have those. Santa Claus is coming to town, sleigh ride, jingle bell rock. They jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Snowing and blowing up bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. But then they also have more traditional carols like I Saw Three Ships. Ding Dong Merrily and High, The Good King Wenchless, The Holly and the Ivy. The Holly and the Ivy, when they are both full grown. Of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown for the rising of the sun. They also have songs like Happy Holidays, I'll Be Home for Christmas. I mean, there are a ton of songs in this for one hour, like the, almost the whole thing is really just singing and I love Christmas carols. And uh, so it was really fun. They even have Statler and Waldorf singing I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, which that's a really obscure but beautiful Christmas song and kind of an interesting choice for them to be the ones to sing it. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play. And wild and sweet, the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men. So caroling, caroling, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Uh, just all the songs that you could ever want, all your favorite Christmas songs. And I think it just does something to me to watch a Christmas movie off season. I really enjoy it. It kind of reminds me of what is good and peaceful and hopeful in our world. And I think we could all use more of that. 
and uh, more joy. Uh, so I think it's it's a lot of fun. And like I said, really getting to see all these Muppets all interact together is just very joyous. And we even get a cameo at the end from Jim Henson himself. So that was really, really, really cool. And so if you haven't seen this one, I definitely recommend it. I think you'll really enjoy it. And uh, it's just a, a great little uh, Christmas special uh, with the Muppets. Lots of good stuff when it comes to Christmas and the holidays with the Muppets. So let me know what you think. And please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. We're going to be starting Teen Movie Month in June. So I look forward to that. That gives me a chance to talk about some films that maybe have a little more edgy content than I typically do for Family Movie Night. So take a look at that. I'd really appreciate it. And please check out our patron group and merch store. Uh, we are so grateful for all of your support and you can get hashtag animation junkie shirts, which are so much fun. So we really appreciate that. We hope you have a very great Memorial Day and a really Merry Christmas. Bye everyone.